Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, apologies for my weird voice, I have a very bad cold. But uh, I didn't want to wait until next week for recording this video because I thought it was like uh, quite important enough uh, to not wait and just, you know, uh, talk about a very important topic. The reason being that uh, if you've been following my channel, you know, I talk a lot about agentic AI and how agentic AI is changing cybersecurity and the impact it's going to have in the coming years on especially uh, the entry level jobs, you know, like L1 SOC analysts, L1, like the beginner vulnerability scanners, those sort of uh, people who are doing those jobs. And currently I'm seeing a lot of backlash within the industry. A lot of people are saying that it's just hype. The majority of AI projects are failing. And this is just like a uh, bakwas as we daily pe they see people say, you know, <laughs> that, uh, that agentic AI is just, it, it's a trend which is going to die down. And it's going to go away, which I think is a massive mistake. And uh, a lot of people are not seeing the changes which are happening within the industry. And whether it happens slowly or it happens quickly within your company, it is going to happen. And I really wanted to talk about that because I don't want people making this mistake and ignoring this. This is not something you can ignore. And I wanted to show you a practical guide. Like if you lead a cybersecurity team, what you can do right now as of today to get like uh, upskill yourself when it comes to uh, agentic AI. So let's get started. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tamur Rudral. I'm a senior security consultant with Amazon Web Services here in the UK. And I made this channel to give advice on AI, cloud security, and general career advice. Do like and subscribe to this channel if you can. Thank you very much and let's get started. Okay, so what am I talking about here? So like I said, the whole point of this video is agentic AI is not just hype and how cyber security teams can get ready and like i said if you've been following my channels you know you know i make a lot of videos around i've made a video on how to learn agentic ai security step by step and how cyber security the structure of cyber security teams is changing as agentic ai becomes more and more mainstream and what has happened is a lot of people reached out to me and they said that is just bogus man you're just creating fear for no reason and agentic ai is just the new trend it's going to go away and they cited a few reports also you know like uh, uh, there have been a few reports from mit why 95 percent of ai pilots are failing and what business leaders should do instead and there was also like a, a report from mit which is quite interesting that 95 percent of ai pilots failed spook investors but unfortunately if you've re read these reports you will find out that the vast majority of these projects, they are not failing because of any weakness within AI. But it's like more because the companies, they made some very poor choices. They did not understand how to like move ahead in production. And like they had the wrong expectations right from the start. So you cannot use these reports to just brush away AI and say AI is just, you know, it's going to go away now. The hype is gone and uh, it's not going to get implemented. That is a massive massive mistake if, especially if you're a security professional so is agentic ai is just hype no and i want to cite two very important things two things which are like make it impossible to ignore the agentic ai and why it's going to uh, like uh, uh, take over like slowly slowly evolve so currently i want you to think before we go into that i want you to understand how ai has evolved within the last i would say since late 2022 so so initially what happened in uh, 2022 uh, late 2022, we had chat GPT came out. Everybody went crazy about Gen AI, Gen AI this, Gen AI that. And they were, uh, most applications were like wrappers over a generative AI, uh, like API, right? They were sitting on top of uh, generative AI API. You had like uh, chat bots being released, which were you calling like uh, open AI APIs at the back end. And you, so you, you had a lot of these sort of applications. Then I would say in 2024, uh, th that was when agentic AI started to gain traction and we had we saw small small pilots happening and I would say this is continuing into 2025 like a lot of teams are doing pilots with agentic AI applications the problem you know what the problem is the problem is a lot of companies they do a prototype of an agentic AI application the problem happens when they want to move into production and then now they want to expose it to the outside world they want to expose it to APIs they want to get visibility security and this is where the problem comes in unfortunately because you do not have like uh, for doing this it requires a lot of work and this is where the challenges is coming and so this is where we are going with it now we are looking at agentic enterprise platforms which are coming out by the giants like AWS Microsoft Google, they are launching these sort of platforms which make it very easy to do this. And this is why Agentic AI is going to launch at scale 
in the coming months and years, which is why you cannot afford to ignore it. Two things are happening. One is, and I now, now I, by showing you this trend, now I want to go why Agentic AI is here to stay. Well, two things. First is the model context protocol. And if you're not aware of this, initially, Agentic AI applications, when they wanted to talk to outside tools, outside database, it was very difficult. You had to like call like clunky APIs and do a lot of work. But now MCP has become the de facto standard of the industry now by just by exposing your agent via mcp you can get, get it to call things like google drive databases github confluence whatever if there is a mcp server for it you can call it so just imagine you have an ai agent within within your company it connects to confluence via mcp it reads your security standards then it creates a code based on your security standards. It does testing based on your standards and gives you a completely generated report, you know, aligned again with your standards because it's read it on Confluence through your MCP. So you can just imagine these sort of use cases when it comes to security, right? So MCP has extended the power of Agentic AI uh, considerably, making it very, very uh, difficult to ignore. And the second thing is these enterprise Agentic platforms. Like I said, AI agents were great in POC, but they didn't have the maturity for production level work, right? Security would not sign off because they didn't have identity, session isolation, logging. And now we have platforms coming out which have these sort of things which make it very, very easy. The easiest example uh, I can give you is Amazon Bedrock Agent Core. Read about it. There are a lot of videos on YouTube also. How did we, we AWS has like, uh, released this massive agentic platform. You can take any agent and just host it there. AWS will take care of the runtime, the memory, the observability, the identity, exposing it to tools. All of these things are baked in. So companies do not have to worry about all of these things, building them from scratch. Now companies have the ability to host their agents on this massively powerful cloud platform. So this is where the industry is going and all of the like big names, they are working on these sort of things. So this is why Really, I want you to understand that Agentic AI is not going to go away anytime soon. What can you do now? Uh, I, I hope you understood now that like, why I'm saying that this is not something, a trend you can just choose to ignore. And how can you get ready? Well, the best way to is to do it is to get hands on. I've like made many, many videos on this. You can check them out. But if you have a team, like let's say you're part of a cybersecurity team, the best way you can do is try to implement it yourself. Pick a simple use case, okay? Don't. Don't try to automate your whole, whole sock on day one. No, just take one simple agentic AI use case, you know, like uh, summarize weekly vulnerability records or like create Jira tickets from scan results, prepare change log logs. Like this way you won't get like uh, stuck in design hell. You won't be designing AI agents. You'll do actual work. So pick a very small security use case for your team and then try to make it. The next step is to scope the permissions. Like I said, this is where a lot of challenges happen. You don't want to give your AI agent like admin level permissions, right? To start with read only access, add permissions. If this is acting, your agent is acting on behalf of a user. Look at things like OAuth and those sort of identities and how like it goes to a user for permission or not. Set up these sort of things uh, and see how it works, right? Now that you have done like given the permissions, you want to extend your agent with tools. Like I said, you want it to connect to Jira for raising tickets or Confluence for reading your documentation. Expose it through the model context protocol. This way you will understand the power of this uh, new protocol and you know how to secure it. It's very, very important. Step four, make every step observable. Your AI agent, when it reads something, when it creates tickets, whatever it's doing, make sure that everything is getting recording to your SIM solution so that you can start to understand the patterns and how the agentic flow actually works. So this is very, very important. Do not make your agent be a black box that you have no idea what's happening because if it gets compromised, you will have no idea where like, and what went wrong. Okay. So keep the observability there. So the step five is treating the agentic memory like a database. Now, Agents, they need memory for creating the context, right? As it does all the steps, it needs to remember. Now, this memory, a lot of people take, treat it very casually. They have no idea that if an attacker is able to compromise this memory, they can actually change the behavior of the agent. So you want to make things like retention, time to live, encrypting this memory, like tracking who and what wrote to memory. OWASP, they have just recently released an excellent guide for this, if you're not aware, which is the Securing Agentic Applications Guide. It, I think it just came out in July. Yeah, it's very, very recent. I would definitely highly recommend reading this 
if you're serious about securing agentic applications it's completely free you don't have to buy it or anything i highly recommend uh, checking this out okay that was step five which is about the memory and step six having creating an agentic incident response playbook uh, you know agents they behave differently from humans so how you need to know how do i revoke the credentials from an agent how do i terminate the session if an agent goes rogue and you're not able to control maybe it's creating tickets like 10000 tickets and you're not able to stop it right so try to make sure that you have this documented how will we stop an agent from if it goes if it starts misbehaving it starts giving the wrong sort of behavior slowly slowly update it over time this will believe me give you a lot of hands on experience when it comes to securing agents because you're actually implementing this in practicality so i hope you understood this sorry i think this video went a little bit longer than i wanted to but this is where the industry is headed like i said 2025 and beyond is where agentic ai is really really going to shine we have things like the model context protocol and app platforms like amazon bedrock agent core and others which are going to take agentic ai mainstream and it's very very important as cyber security professionals that you understand these sort of technologies because this is where the future a lot of people you know they try to create fear this ai apocalypse is coming everybody's gonna get replaced that's bogus but there is going to be a massive disruption and if you are literate about these sort of things you can you know you can say future proof your job and you can be in a very good position because your skills will be very very highly in demand so i hope this was useful to you and like uh, uh, take a look they check out my other videos also on agentic ai so you can understand just the power of this technology and where it's going thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video